It is September 8th, 2019. And today is International Literacy Day, celebrated in every United Nations member state across the globe. Literacy means that you can read and write or that you have access to knowledge. The theme this month at First Unitarian Universalist Church of Springfield is story. Not every story is written. Stories go back long before the written word. Like ghost stories told around the campfire, stories were passed as what we now call oral traditions by humans before we had created the written word. And even now, not all of our stories are written down in alphabets. Sometimes storytellers, like Meredith Sisko next Sunday, tell stories that only belong on front porches spoken aloud. And sometimes graphic novels or comics can tell complex stories without a single word. Still, written words, the ability to read, the ability to write, the ability to receive information through text, opens up an entirely new world. Take a minute. Do you remember the first book you read all by yourself? For those of you who are younger, maybe it is a picture book. For those of you who are a little older, maybe the book that first came to mind was a chapter book. And maybe it wasn't that first book you read, but at some point I hope each of you has had the experience of getting completely and utterly Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, knee-deep immersed in a captivating story. Today is a day in celebration of the worlds that literacy can create, in the stories it can unfold, but also to the doors it can open. Job applications, instruction manuals, medical information, Literacy changes lives. This year, International Literacy Day is tied in with a different but related celebration. The United Nations has declared 2019 the Year of the Indigenous Language. Just like species of animals have been endangered and sometimes have gone extinct, so can languages be endangered and even forced to extinction. Researchers estimate that half of the languages spoken today across the world will be lost within the next hundred years. We call it translation when a story in one language is told in a different language. But translations are not perfect replications. They are sitting down and finding something that sounds similar, something that means a similar thing but often nuance and depth and ties to other meanings are lost in translation. Stories sound different in different languages. And what that means is that if a language dies, the richness of the stories of that culture die with it. We can try to record and translate the stories, but that doesn't mean that we can recapture the heart again. So this year, folks over at the United Nations are working hard to conserve languages to save them. They're doing that by recording and creating learning materials for those languages, by making sure that those who know those indigenous languages have a chance to teach them to children, and by upholding the importance of indigenous languages, as well as the cultural components, like traditional sports and games associated with them. It is hoped that by doing this, the histories and cultures that come with the languages will also survive, that the stories will survive to serve those whose ancestors first told them.